Next on the News at 10 is Sports News with Charles Seruka. Many thanks, Gimba. Welcome to Sports News. Players and officials of Enyimba Football Club have returned to the country this morning, uh, well, later, uh, early in the morning, after the club's exit from this year's CAF Confederations Cup. The Aba Elephants will now go on a two-week break after which preparations for the new seasons begin. Enyimba wanted to become the first Nigerian club side to win the tournament and fought gallantly, but the quest was ended by Raja Casablanca of Morocco. Now to internationals, FIFA will raise the prize money for the Women's World Cup from $15 million to $30 million, starting with next year's edition in France. Following a FIFA Council meeting in Rwanda, FIFA President Gianni Infantino said $20 million would be made available for pre-tournament preparations, meaning that $50 million in total would be allocated across the 24 participating nations the prize money has doubled the amount awarded in the 2015 World Cup in Canada and for the first time clubs will be rewarded for their players taking part in the tournament as is the case in the men's edition. This means that the Super Falcons of Nigeria will benefit from this windfall if they qualify for the 2019 FIFA World Cup. And in Spain, La Liga's plans to host the Girona vs Barcelona domestic league game in the United States in January 2019 has hit another stumbling block after world governing body FIFA opposed the idea. The Spanish league drew controversy when it signed a 15-year deal in August to expand its presence in the U.S., including taking one regular season match per campaign over the Atlantic. The Spanish FA opposed the idea from the outset and FIFA president Gianni Infantino rejected it, saying league matches had to be played on home soil. La Liga president Javier Tebas is expected to appeal the decision and take the case to the Court of Arbitration for Sports. From football to tennis now, debutant Sloan Stevens has completed an undefeated run through the round-robin portion of the WTA finals in Singapore as the American defeated Angelique Kerber of Germany's 6-3, 6-3 to win the red group and reach the semi-finals. Following the 100-minute victory, Stevens became the first WTA Finals debutant to go 3-0 in the round robin since Garbin Muguruza did so in 2015. Stevens finished the match with 26 winners, 7 more than her opponent, and 1 to thirds of points on the Germans' second serve. Stevens will face Karolina Pliskova in the semi-finals as the Czech finished second in the white group. That's it on Sports News and back to Gimba with the rest of the news at 10. In the United States, a 56-year-old man has been arrested in Florida in connection with a mail bombing campaign aimed at prominent Americans. U.S. officials named the man as Caesar Sayoc, saying that more arrests could follow. Twelve packages have been sent to figures such as the former president, Barack Obama, and actor Robert De Niro in recent days. The latest two were found in Florida and New York City sent to top Democrat Cory Booker. The string of mailbox bombs, which comes more than two weeks before the U.S. midterm elections, has been condemned by President Donald Trump, who says that he had been briefed about the suspect. Filmmaker Franklin Ufomadu's latest project focuses on the community in Imo State and the unfaltering stereotypes about them. Mayowa Ogundele has details and other entertainment stories. Many thanks. Here are top stories on showbiz. Nollywood director Franklin Ufomadu moves to correct a stereotype about Imbiste, a community in Imo State, southeast Nigeria, being a dangerous place with a new movie entitled The Chronicles. The film, which casts Onye Kamweno, Shegu Arinze, and Colin Stalker, amongst others, screened in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, to a select group. 
The Chronicles is set in three eras, pre-colonial, during the colonization, and present-day imbecile, and follows the origin of what might have transpired that would have caused people to brandish imbecile people dangerous. Organizers of the annual Face of Okija pageant on Talent Hunt have announced plans to include contestants from other parts of Anambra State as part of efforts to promote culture and good morals among the youth. The 2018 edition, set to hold in December, is tagged Re-Engineering Our Moral Standard and will encourage youth under the age of 26 to imbibe positive African values. Popstar Whiskey's latest music video for his recently released track, Fever, sets a record of over 1 million views within 24 hours of release. The video shot in Accra, Ghana and directed by Major Labi refuels speculations of a romantic relationship between the self-styled Starboy and maybe in songstress Tiwa Savage, who plays the role of his love interest. Views for the video continue to rise online as fans debate possibilities of a publicity stunt or a not-so-subtle announcement of a romance. And that's it from me. Thanks for watching. The rest of the news at 10 continues shortly. And the main news again. The army today discovered a shallow grave in which the missing retired army general Idris El Kali was allegedly buried in Plateau State. The district head of the community where General Kali went, went missing and three others declared wanted in connection with the incident also reported to the police. Also today, President Muhammad Buhari called on the United States and Europe to assist in Africa's interbasin water transfer to recharge the Lake Chad. He noted that crisis in the region has been fueling irregular migrations. And 56-year-old man was today arrested in Florida over the U.S. mail bombing campaign targeting President Donald Trump's critics. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us here, have a splendid weekend and good night.